Hi, I'm Gavin, and these are the Coffee Conspiracies. This is the third episode of my visit to Merthyr Tydfil, situated in the foothills of the magnificent Brecon Beacons National Park. Wales was once the centre of the world's iron and steel industries, and Merthyr Tydfil its burning core. At its peak in the mid-19th century, Merthyr had the most productive ironworks in the world and was the most populous district in the country. Since then, Merthyr Tydfil has sought a way back to prosperity and opportunity. The path that it has chosen is both in high-tech manufacturing and, more importantly, as a regional retail centre. A host of new retail investment is coming to fruition, including a £40 million investment from Trago Mills, a large-scale discount retailer. Along with this will be improvements to infrastructure and transport. This is the overview for the Merthyr Tidfil Local Authority, and you can see that employment lags the national average by about 7%, and commercial vacancies are about 4% more. Salaries are lower than average, but business efficiency is a touch higher, and typical profit margins are astonishingly high. Manufacturing and industrial sites are undergoing a seismic change in Merthyr Tidfil. At the one extreme is the new General Dynamics high-tech military manufacturing plant, while at the other, existing industrial warehouses are being converted for leisure activity, including indoor go-kart racing and a future indoor drone racing track. And with the town itself set to experience a demographic shift as it becomes a retail destination, there are opportunities for craft and specialist manufacturing. As I've explained in the previous two episodes on Merthyr, the area is transforming around a host of new industries and investments, including attracting more high-paying jobs. That increasing wealth leads to opportunities that are becoming almost commonplace elsewhere in the UK. 40 distilleries opened in the UK in 2016, and the trend for boutique gins and other artisan spirits is only accelerating. What you need are access to high quality water, a pleasant place to work and sell your wares, and access to do a distribution hub. The River Taff has its source in the Brecon Beacons National Park, slightly higher up the valley from Merthyr, and the area is wild and spectacularly beautiful. And all those years of the centre of iron and steel manufacturing have left a legacy of integrated infrastructure and easy access to the world. Merthyr Tidfil does not yet have an artisan distiller, and I may have found the perfect site for you. First, let's talk a little about the existing industrial base in the area. Despite news of manufacturing's demise, industry still makes up 42% of the local economy and has profit margins of 16%. That's all that high-end manufacturing now taking place here instead of simply digging up iron. The problem, as you can see, is that the historical industrial base was in relatively small premises, which is why new sites are being built to cater to the new investors, and why the older sites are easier to convert for leisure use. You'll also notice on the map that there are a small number of industrial sites clustered near the centre of town. One such site is the Kafartha Industrial Estate, just below the park. Units 6 to 8 are a series of three warehouses of about 900 square metres each, and the landlord appears to be willing to rent them out either individually or in combination. It's a fairly active industrial site, partly because of the building and commercial suppliers around it, as well as the children's leisure centres, with a regular flow of people in and out. Depending on what you choose, this could house a brewery and tap room, if you took more space, or a small distillery. The rental in the Zoopla listing is defined as non-quoting. Sometimes this means the landlord is expecting a higher rent than they are planning to ask, but in this case, probably less than the rateable value of about 22000 as I suggested in previous episodes, do contact the enterprise development team to help with any lease and rates negotiations. You may find that these costs can be massively reduced for your first few years. As always, the links and references will be below in the video commentary. I find Wales one of these frustratingly ambiguous places. It is some of the wildest, most beautiful natural landscape anywhere in the UK. Its beaches and coastline are some of the most spectacular anywhere in the world. And as I've shown you, the valleys on the way up to the Brecon Beacons are lovely and cry out to be cycled. Yet the architecture is often dire, and it sometimes seems to lack confidence to enjoy and claim all that it has to offer. That said, if you're looking to build a life around wild swimming, single track wilderness hiking and cycling, and maybe a little kayaking, then Wales has a huge amount to offer. From a business perspective, Merthyr Tidfil is genuinely ambitious to attract investment and talent, and will welcome your approach. For if I have learned one important lesson, it is how much of a difference an engaged, dynamic and integrated enterprise development team can make to your investment experience. I wish you the best of luck there, and I hope, should you decide to invest, you'll drop me a note and invite me to come and see what you've made. Until the next episode, let's go get some of that coffee.